much does Allah love me? Written by Hiba Subah Haider. Illustrated by Atina Hassan. Maymuna was a curious little girl who often thought about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She was thinking about him now as she gazed out into the hazy indigo colored evening sky, listening to the pitter patter of raindrops against her window pane. She thought about all the magnificent things she learned about Allah in her Sunday school. She thought about all the animals he created, big, small, fast, and slow. She thought about the vast number of stars in the sky that look like sparkling diamonds. She thought about all the different types of trees, fruit trees, flowering trees, and trees that provide shade in the hot summer days. She thought about her family, her mama, her baba, and her brother and sister, and how much love she had in her heart for them. But the one thing that Maymuna thought about the most was the love she had for Allah in the deepest part of her heart. She wondered, how much does Allah love me? And with that thought, Maymuna rushed to the only person she knew would be able to give her an answer. Mama, Mama, Maymuna cried out, running to her mother's study. Yes, Habibti, are you all right? Maymuna's mother was just finishing her daily Quran reading. Mama, I have a very important question for you that needs to be answered right away, Maymuna said urgently. Well then, I hope to have an answer for this very important question, inshallah, her mother said with a smile. You know I love Allah very much, but what I don't know is exactly how much does Allah love me? Maymuna was so eager to hear the answer, she hopped onto her mother's lap before her mother could even utter a word. Her mother laughed as she scooped up little Maymuna in her arms and said, Well now that is a very good and a very important question that needs answering right away, Maymuna. Allah loves you so very much, my dear. He loves you more than the billions of stars in the clear night sky. Allah loves you more than the trillions of fish in all the oceans. Allah loves you more than the number of raindrops that fall down from the sky in a storm. Allah loves you more than the billions of people in the entire world. Allah loves you more than the grains of sand on our favorite beach. Allah loves you more than the blades of grass in the meadow we have our picnics in. And do you know how much Mama loves you, my dear sweet Maymuna? Her mother asked as she squeezed her tenderly. Maymuna closed her eyes and hugged her mother tightly as she said, More than the stars in the sky? the fish in the ocean, the raindrops that fall down from the sky, all the people in the world, the grains of sand on the beach and the blades of grass in the meadow. Maymuna's mother looked lovingly at her daughter and nodded her head. Yes, Habibti, so, so much more than that and the entire universe and what's in it. But even my love could not measure up to Allah's love for you, for he loves you more than that. Maymuna beamed with excitement and more love for Allah than she had ever felt before. How great is Allah to love me this much, Maymuna thought as she raced back to her room. She pondered over all the vast creation her mother had mentioned. She thought about how much she loved her mama and how much mama loved her. It was a love bigger than the whole wide world. But the biggest love of all was the love Maymuna felt for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even bigger than that was Allah's love for little Maymuna. For however big or however much Maymuna thought something was, she knew that Allah loved her more than that. Go to sleep in the arms of your loving family. Close your eyes, sleep tight, his protection through the night. When you wake in the morn, mama's love you will adore. And know that Allah loves you too, too. May you light up the life of all that passes.
pass you by May Allah's love shine down on you You May the stars in the heavens Sprinkle stardust on your face May the angels whisper your name Go to sleep in the arms of your loving family Close your eyes, sleep tight His protection through the night Mika and Malaika were brother and sister. Mikael lived for adventure while Malaika was always pondering. But both had one thing in common. They were Muslim superheroes. Big Boss, their dad, told them that the best superheroes have a pure heart. And that is exactly what the two wanted to be. The best Muslim superheroes ever. One day, as they're reading the Quran after Fajr prayer, Mika prayed for a long time. He prayed quietly, he prayed aloud, he prayed hard. Then he sighed. Malaika, I don't know how to get a pure heart. Malaika stopped and thought. Me neither, Mikhail. They needed answers. They needed Big Boss. Mika and Malaika whipped on their capes and soared to command post to meet with Big Boss. Big Boss told them the first step to having a pure heart. You will find your answer through the one who loves you most. But where will we find the one? questioned Mikhail. If love you wish to see, you must see the sea. The superheroes landed near the Pacific Ocean. They had to play the part. They had to be smart. Mikhail, watch out! Mikhail landed in a pile of mud. He dove into the cool water and became squeaky clean. Ocean, you are so clear and sparkling. Who has made you? whispered Malaika. Allah, Allah, slushed the waters. Mika and Malaika returned to command post. Big boss, I took a bath in the cool water of the sea, but the one who loves us most we could not see, said Mikhail. Then the one who loves you most, my son, you must find within the sun. The superheroes fired up their super jets and landed on the sun. They had to be sly, but first he had to be dry. Mikhail basked in the heat of the sun and dried his super gear. Sun, you are so warm and bright. Who has made you so full of light? Whispered Malaika. Allah, Allah beamed its rays. Mikhail and Malaika returned to command post. Big boss, we basked in the sun's warm rays, but the one who loves us most we cannot say, exclaimed Mikhail. To find the answer, if you please, you must search within the trees. The superheroes landed across two banana trees. They had to be stealthy. They had to be healthy. Mikhail needed a snack. Banana tree, your fruit is so sweet and filling. Who has made you? whispered Malaika. Allah, Allah rustled its leaves. Mika and Malaika returned to command post one final time. Big boss, I have filled my belly with bananas so sweet, but the one who loves us most we did not meet. If only you knew, the answer is within you. Mika and Malaika sprung into action. They had to be quick. They had to be slick. Mikhail, watch out! Mikhail backflipped and landed on his head. Super Agent M.O.M. appeared at the scene of the crime. She bandaged, she repaired, Mikhail was as good as new. Super Agent M.O.M., you are so loving and caring. Who has made you? Malaika asked softly. 
Allah, she whispered. Allah. Mikhail sat and thought, Malaika, that's it! Big boss, the one who loves us the most is our mother, said Mikhail. A mother's love is great for sure, but there is one who loves you even more. Mikhail scratched his head. Mikhail, if only you knew Allah is the one who loves us too, cried Malaika. Indeed, he has blessed us with so much, fruit-bearing trees, water from the clear blue seas, warmth from the big bright sun, and loving parents who care for everyone. You're right, Malaika. Big boss, Allah is the one who loves us the most. Allah, 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 said Mikhail. My superheroes, your mission you have now completed. With Allah's love, you shall be undefeated. Big hug and salam from me to you.